What's up with the squad? Back with another video. I seen that title was going down. Make sure I hit the like button, subscribe, but make sure I also go check out Doug and X out in the description box down below. More bad news. More bad news. And this is is not for Trump, you know. Um, we definitely can say <clears throat> always, always news about Funny Willis and Letitia James that a lot of people are following up. So uh uh definitely always stay tuned because it's definitely great news. Let's get in the video, yo. A brand new line on Trump being able to sue Letitia James has opened up, and I hope he pursues it. This is going to be great on his civil rights, and I think it would be one of the funniest things ever. So, Trump, you have to do this, please. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenable. This is where the Patriots are, so I hope you've subscribed like one of my pal Patriots. This is where we make the news a little bit more entertaining each day. Let's get started with this video. Do you think that Donald Trump should sue New York Attorney General Letitia James and on what grounds? Suing Letitia James and this guest is a, you know, a black lawyer. So I, I find this extra delicious. I think uh, I, should. I think she should. I saw an interesting little uh, comment of hers I, I not seen before the other day. Uh, she said when she's running for attorney general that uh, she wants to fight an administration that's too male, too pale, and too stale. We've shown this clip before, but this is a refresher. To stand up to an, an administration. Dang, her voice, bro. I'm sorry, but maybe it's the speaker. Which is too male, too pale, and too stale. Look, what's up with this guy down here? Let's zoom in on him. Why are you smiling when you're male and pale and probably stale? Now, you can talk about stale ideas, that's fine, but too male and too pale, that constitutes basically uh, sex and race discrimination. Oh yeah. This is the thing about liberals that I always laugh at when they go, we're against race discrimination, we're against yeah. sex discrimination. By the way, it also uh, somewhat extends to your right to creed, so you can't discriminate someone based on their religion, which we already know that's all the Democrat Party does. That's all they do. They love discriminating against whites, they love discriminating against men, like in uh, divorce court on who gets child custody. They love discriminating on all of the things they claim to be for, they're not for the actual principle. They want the preferred ends. They don't want to hold on to the means or a rule. So I think what- Man, man, Steph was literally just talking about the whole simple fact of, you know, uh, a lot of people, you know, you, you liberal, you Democrat, you know, <clears throat> go and say, uh, and I can't say everybody, but you know, most. It's, it's more so of when you're trying to get your point across, and you're just trying to talk. I always want to argue. You know, I've seen so many videos, you know, of Trump rallies and stuff, you know, and you'll see people that dislike Trump, you know, all the time, you know, at these rallies. And I would see videos. And I never knew that how how the how the Trump rallies went. I never knew. Um, so I wanted to see, you know, uh I think I'm, I, I think I might react to another video of it, but I, I had before um, plenty. It was about I would, I would say about three or four videos and I seen how nice and how cool, no matter what color you are, no matter how young, how old it's it's just it's either people that's, you know, straight to the point or it's people that, you know, get give their views out and try to talk it out. But you have those others that just want to argue with you. You know, the people the the ones that dislike Trump that's that you know the on the other side of the street. I seen people, you know, uh, get get spit on or, or hit or uh, water thrown at them just because of somebody else's beliefs. And I don't like stuff like that, you know, and it's sad that a lot of people would take it this far, you know, just because they don't rock with what somebody else is saying and it makes it sad and we all i feel like need to come together in a sense you know and when they're having these rallies and when you know you go here and you're having this person talk for an election instead of going and arguing and doing the most and damaging the property or people you know why don't just go and like talk i don't i don't understand that people raise their blood pressure and raise their stress levels just based off of, you know, somebody else's belief, you know, and getting they self worked up 
over the dumbest stuff, you know, and I find it, you know, crazy. And I, you know, obviously this, you know, don't have much to do with this video, but it's just a simple fact of people need to start knowing what's real um, instead of getting brainwashed and know what the truth is, regardless of what's going on, you know, here in the United States. And that's what it is. Ends. They don't want to hold on to the means or a rule. So I think what President Trump ought to do is sue her on the basis of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. I'm just laughing because I came from California, guys. And that 1964 Civil Rights Act is what everyone quotes to all of us who've ever employed someone or worked for a company. They're like, you cannot discriminate. You cannot discriminate. And we have Letitia James literally making discrimination claims against Trump that she's going to pursue him because he's too male and he's too pale. Like, if the 1964 Civil Rights Act wasn't a complete joke, she would automatically be, be sued. But let's face it, it it's largely a joke. Uh, her office gets federal money, in fact, $311 million approximately for various subsidies for uh, uh, law enforcement activity. So the federal money's flowing into her office, and if she is engaged in that kind of sexual and racial discrimination and, and that kind of language, I think she's wide open to exposure on the 64 Civil Rights Act. Donald J. Trump should sue Letitia James on the basis of civil rights. Yes, do it. She's wide open, he says. Um, she's wide open, ready to be sued. And this is easy. She's clearly guilty. She's clearly has given the motive for one of the reasons why she pursued him. Just remember, if someone said that we're going to pursue this politician because they're a black woman, just, just imagine if we said that, like that's the cause. She's too black and she's too female and we got to get her. I mean, you're, you'd be over. Have you suggested this to Trump? I will, so I'm writing about he, this. He's and listening. I, I, I think he'll, the message will get to him sooner or later. Yeah, he's getting the message. Up. And that, that's, just, that's just being 100, though, because I feel like if it was anybody else standing up there, and that's what's funny, <clears throat> if it was anybody else standing up there, rather you Chinese, you, 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 you Caucasian, you, mix, you, you got some Indian, you... Uh, Jap anybody that went up there and said something like she just did, it would have been a whole thing. It would have been all over TikTok. It would have been all over YouTube and the news and everywhere. But she can say that, and that's what's messed up. That's what I'll be talking about. That's what I'll be talking about. But you rather people people rather say, oh, yeah, Trump is the R word. He does this and does that. And he that gets on my nerves. It gets on my nerves for the simple fact, like, bro, like, I haven't – I've been doing these reactions for so long, bro, like – I've been I've been doing uh, music reactions, sports, comedy. I've been doing all this. I have over three thousand videos on YouTube, and the thing is, I didn't got into this. And what I've seen even before this is that I can't find one single video. Nobody can find one single video of this man being our. Nobody. Nobody can show me that. I haven't seen it. All I've been doing. I've been doing this almost a year now. On these top, on, on, and, and I'm telling you, I have not seen nothing yet of it. But if you ask me about somebody else, oh, yeah. We, do, we just seen it right here. We see, and, and that's, I'm, I'm telling y'all, that's what I, I hear it all the time. That's the, that's the only people, uh, people, people that dislike Trump, that's the first thing they say. Oh, he's the R word. I don't care what nobody say. And then when you say, oh, well, this person is the, 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 the R, the, he, the R word too. Oh, okay. Well, they all are. They are, you know, like it, 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 it gets on my nerves, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm already not having the best day, you know, I'm not having the best day. But one thing about it is the simple fact of people need to come together. People need to continue to pray because the way that things are going is not looking well. You know, it's not looking well of where we're going. It is scary. Look at all we've been through in the past four years. People got to wake up and realize this stuff. To Trump, Trump, do it. I'll fund it. How do I give you money to do this, to pursue her on civil rights grounds? And by the way, um, he would probably lose, but it would at least prove that the Civil Rights Act of 1964 uh, ought to be laughed out of the room in New York because they don't believe it. In principle, it's true. You should not uh, fire someone or discriminate someone 
based on race and sex. Of course not. You go for merit. It's like if you're going to hire someone, what's the profitability? If you're going to give them any opportunity, it's like, what is your merit? What do you do? What is your work? But we all know Democrats have never embodied that law. That was never how it was used. It was made to destroy America. I'm Doug in exile. Man, A brand I, I, I didn't say it, y'all. <clears throat> you know, I, I said it. You know, I, I spoke my mind, you know, and I, I pray I don't, you know, get in trouble for that. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. And, you know, I feel like things and times is uh, now the people that are woke, you know, uh, that, that woke up and seen the truth, I would say. Not woke because, it's you know, it's that two different types of woke. But, you know, having that, you know, you waking up to the truth and knowing what's going on and i feel that you know especially with me being you know as far as i guess i can say i'm young you know i've been saying i'm old this whole week you know being 26 but um i push it on the younger generation i always see people comment or when i go on live like when are you going back to music reckless when are you going you know I, i've had a big crowd of the younger generation you know i, I was uh reacting to a lot of music and stuff and one thing about it is I don't see much of them anymore, you know, and it kind of makes me sad because it's important to know these things. Yes, times can get a little boring, you know, when somebody's not rapping or singing or you see this person or you see this car going around or you see this com comedian standing up doing comedy shows. I get it. But a lot of times, you know, it's important as well to sit down relax and see what's going on around the world or in the United States. And that's just, you know, how it is, but definitely appreciate y'all um, for everything. Much love to everybody. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in and sharing these videos. Catch y'all next one.